from the local station. The 10 o'clock news starts now. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, a well-known and outspoken South Georgia pastor now faces the possibility of spending up to 30 years in federal prison. Don't expect to see Mac Knight's name associated with fraud. Pastor Mac Knight of Impact Worship Center in Kingsland was indicted on five counts of COVID-19 recovery assistance fraud. According to the federal indictment, the 45-year-old used the money meant for coronavirus relief to buy a luxury car. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joins us live with what else the indictment reveals. Eric. Well, for the past couple of years, Pastor Knight has appeared in many of our news stories, uh, in many of our news stories, uh, fighting and standing up against what he uh, perceived to be as uh, police excessive force and even uh, represented, or shall I say, yeah, represented the uh, family of George Floyd, who was killed by a Minneapolis police officer. Well, now he is the one who needs representation to fight uh, these federal charges listed in this indictment. He was known for his efforts of peacekeeping during the uprising in Minneapolis following the police killing of George Floyd. I think I would just offer them how to organize a peaceful protest. And he was a spokesperson for a family mourning the death of Tony Green, who was shot and killed by a Kingsland police officer. A life was taken all too soon. But now Pastor Mac Knight finds himself in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. According to this federal indictment, Knight fraudulently sought and received more than $149,000 in COVID relief money. Attorney John Phillips I has no affiliation have. to the case, but is familiar with Knight's community activism. It, it, it is surprising. Um, it, you know, when, when you have multiple businesses, you've got to run each one right. And, and the, this, this CARES Act money wasn't free money. It wasn't just take it and do what you want with it. It was relief. Taxpayer funded relief to be exact. According to this indictment, Knight falsely wrote on an application that his tax service and his restaurant earned a combined total of more than $670,000 prior to the end of January 31st of last year. In March of that year, he got a check from the government totaling a little more than $149,000. Ten days after receiving the check, investigators say Knight purchased a Mercedes-Benz for a little more than $46,000. Phillips says this leads to other questions. Where's the rest of the money? Did did some or most go back to the business? I'm curious as to what, where they have him on the lies. Obviously, they have something because it went to a grand jury. But, you know, in this country, we're innocent until proven guilty. Now, aside from a paper trail that leads back to the pastor, there is also a criminal history of fraud. We were able to conduct a, a criminal background check that revealed that the pastor Knight uh, was previously sentenced to time in a Georgia prison on charges of fraud and theft. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.